and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about my compost system. I know I've done many videos in my kitchen where I show that I have a compost bin and I save all the kitchen scraps that I that I gather. Um, and I want to show you where that ends up and what I do. So several years ago, I said, you know, I should be making my own compost. I should make my own soil. And I did some research on it and it takes like three years before you get any. And I was just like, oh, forget that. So I would just buy it, buy bags of compost. And then um, the next year I'd be like, oh, I should really make my own compost. And then I'd be like, no, not waiting three years. Then one day, I don't know, maybe I just gathered a bit of patience <laughs> in my older years. And I thought, you know something? Start it. Start it now. And then in three years, you'll have a year, a yearly supply of compost. So I did it. So what I did was, now let me just tell you, this whole system that I have costs no money and it's no work. If for me, it's no work. Um, and I'll, I'll just explain what, what I do. It's getting warm. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt. Whew. That sun is that sun is warm. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. So what I did was I decided I was going to make a compost bin for my yard, and I was going to make it with four pallets, and each pallet was going to be a wall, and I was going to gather them together in some way, and make like a big box, and then I was going to start throwing stuff in. So. I just started throwing in kitchen scraps, um, lawn clippings, leaves, um, every anything, anything that's compost. Oh, and then another thing I do is I take my junk mail and any junk mail, I sort uh, anything that, any paper that's shiny, it has like a plastic coating on. I don't, I put that in the recycling, but any kind of flat, like newspaper kind of, uh, uh, paper. Um, I have a, in my garage, I have a paper shredder and I don't shred things because I don't want my identity stolen, even though I don't want my identity stolen. That's not why I have the shredder. I have the shredder per, for the sole purpose of taking my, my junk mail that's flat like newspaper, not shiny, not shiny plastic. And I run it through and I shred, um, I make shreds out of it. And then um, I scatter that all over. So the key is, is to layer things and alternate layers of things. So you don't want this much grass from the lawn and then like this much garbage and then this much grass from the lawn. You really need to kind of, in order for it to really work well together, in my experience, is that you just, you're layering things. So, you know, over in the yard, there's a heap of leaves. I don't have to wait for the fall for the leaves. I'll grab a handful of those, make a layer of those. Then I'll put grass. Then I'll put the gar the kitchen scraps. Then I'll go in the garage and get a big handful of all that shredded paper. And so I just keep layering, layering, layering. And I do that. So now I'm going to show you that this is the first one I built right here. This was the four pallets, one, two, three, four. It turns out I, I wished it was a little bit higher. So I just, I just put these little racks up here. So what I did for the first year was I put layer, 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 and I think, and now I know most compost bins, people talk about stirring it, moving it, and watering it. I do none of that. Zero. You know who moves my stuff? The, all the little critters in this neighborhood move my stuff. Because sometimes I'll come out, there'll be a big heap of soil out here and I know that somebody was climbing in there and digging and I was like thank you because they took the bottom stuff out and I just shovel it on the top it's like thanks and um, worms if I dig in here there's worms um, so they're doing all the work they're churning it I don't do I don't move it so I and I know that like if you buy these compost bins that they're like barrels and you got to turn it every day I don't know I don't I just don't turn it it's it's in the sun most of the day uh it gets hit by the sprinklers because i have an underground irrigation system so it does get hit with the sprinklers so it gets watered it gets sun and the critters move it 
and I just add to it. So I started this, I remember it was the month of May, and I said I'm going to keep adding to this all the way through the next May. So for one year, this thing was piling, piling, piling. Uh, when I clean up my garden, my vegetable garden at the end of the year, and I'm pulling all the plants out, all of that goes in here. Um, all the, you know, the flowers that I plant, when they're done at the end of the year and they're, they're dead, the annuals, they all go in here. Like everything goes in here. All the food scraps go in here. Um, and so it was heaped up like this. So now I knew I had to wait. I had to wait for this to turn to soil. So what I did was I went back out with, <laughs> I went back out and found three more pallets and I built on the back of this, this one. One, two, three. So now I had a second bin. So now what I did was from that May until the next May, I added to this and that one sat. Right? So now the next May, I went out and got three more pallets. And if you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger as I go, <laughs> as I go along. So over here is the third one. And then while this one was being filled and that one was sitting, that one was ready. So now I'm on the three-year system. So currently, this is the month of May. On May 1st, we stopped adding to this one. We started adding to this one. And over there is ready to use. You can see down in here, there's the lawn clippings and there's all garbage and we'll just keep layering things. You can see over here, this is like, this is the yard cleanup that we just did. You can see the paper shredding right here. This is the paper shreds. And this will just sit and next May, that will be soil ready to use. And over here, is the, is the soil I'll use this year. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's like it's dark, it's rich, and it goes all the way down. It's so much soil. It's so much soil. So what I, what I do is um, I connect them like this. I just drilled big holes. I drilled big enough holes so that a zip tie would fall would go through and that's how I connect them because what I like to do is I like to be able to snip them because when we're going to shovel out of this one in a couple of years from now I need to open one of these walls so we can get in with a shovel and a wheelbarrow so I can just snip those move the wall out shovel 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 while my son does it <laughs> he also does my camera work hi baby <laughs> and um so I just snip I just snip these and then open it and we shovel shovels. Now we're doing that this afternoon. We're gonna John and Brittany, you all know Brittany, she's was my moderator on one of my lives. She's a doll. And the the three of us today, this afternoon, we're gonna work in the gardens and we're gonna get some work done. I can show you my gardens really quick. They're kind of a mess right now because that's just what happens over the winter. Everything's a mess. Um, but I can show you a before and after when we get through with it this afternoon. Come on, I'll show you over here. This is a shed. There's a story about this shed. <laughs> of course, there's a story about everything. Um, a friend of mine, a friend of mine was upgrading her shed. She was getting this big fancy shed. It looks like a house. It looks like a house. It's got like windows and curtains and everything. And she's like, you know, if you want, if you want my old shed, you can, you can take it. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And uh, well, well, I mean, it was a lot of work. Um, I got a friend to help me. Uh, and we went there, took the whole thing apart. We had to label every piece that we took apart. So we knew how to put it together when we got here. Loaded it all in the back of his truck. We got here. She even gave me the cement um, squares that were the, the floor of it. We took all of those. And we, we, we put out the square platform, leveled it, and started building the shed. And it's the best shed. Look at it. It holds so much stuff. 
And uh, I, I got when I got home, I Googled it. It's like a twelve hundred dollar shed, <laughs> and it was a you know it was a day's work, but it was good. That's my that's my story. That's my repurpose, recycle stuff. So here is my gardens right here, and this is Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea sits on the side of the yard in the gardens, and so this is um, these are my gardens. These are my grow bags right here. This is where the tomatoes or the green beans grow and they trellis up on these things so i have some of these on grow bags that's a palette that i found on the side of the road i painted it black oh my little bike fell down look at this little bicycle built for two i like to have it right right there and um this i do green beans in here i love fresh green beans from the garden so my gardens are mostly green beans and green and greens leafy greens so the, the green beans grow up that and then over here, um, I have these two greenhouses. And from some, for most years, I do all my own seedlings. Uh, this year, I'm not doing the seedlings because um, I was just too busy with the van build. I, I was away, actually. I usually start them in, like, March. And I wasn't even home. I was still on my road trip. Then I got home and got in the van build. So I said, if I'm going to do a garden this year, I'll do it from... Um, uh, easy seeds like green beans are very easy and um and spinach and kale and uh swiss chard and all those um and then i'll buy plants i'll buy any plants i want so i usually put the uh, the plastic uh zippered covering on these two greenhouses and i fill those up with seedlings one two and then what i do uh when the seedlings are done i take the the plastic coverings off and i um I use these for trellises and I plant all along the base of them. I plant green beans and I, we call them the green bean house because at, by the, by the, by the end of the summer, uh, by the middle of the summer, this whole roof is all green beans, a whole leafy green beans. They grow up these little poles here. So that works out lovely. And then these are the chives that I've been, I've been munching on in my meals. These come back every year all by themselves. They just come back and, in here, I have my little bird bath. I gotta, I gotta clean that out. This is the stuff we're gonna work on. Over here, I usually do. Uh, this is real bok choy. Does really good over here. It gets sun and shade over here. And then over here, there's some more chives there. Down here, I usually do. I'll do some greens over here and here. And then over here, this is usually spinach. Oh, the bunny. Hey, bunny. Hey, bunny. Hi, Mr. Bunny. What you doing? I just know one thing you're not going to be doing this summer. You're not going to be eating my stuff because you eat too much of my stuff. Oh, there's another bunny. Hi, bunnies. <laughs> so, so this here, I usually have green beans growing up here, growing up here. This was a this was a leg to a uh, a big huge yard swing, and the yard swing just like fell apart, and I saved the legs on the, on either side, <laughs> and I just turned them upside down and zip tied them right here, and this is a great trellis. Oh, and the green onions are coming in. They come in, they come in every year, without any without any effort too. So what we're going to do today, the three of us, we're gonna um, we're gonna till all this soil, and turn it, weed it. And then uh, we'll throw some seeds in. We'll throw some seeds, some spinach, Swiss chard, kale, um, uh, bok choy, green beans. Just going to throw the seeds in. And, you know, I don't know how it's going to work out this year because I'm going to be gone a lot in the summer. So I was going to skip this whole thing. <sighs> Would have been the first year in 20 plus years that I would have skipped gardening. Um, but I was ready to do it because I'm not going to be here to tend to it. But I'm just going to throw these seeds in. And I have, uh, it, I have the automatic sprinklers so it will get watered the whole time I'm gone. And the timing of when I get home, when I'm gone, if I'm home and they're still doing well, great. If they're not doing well, great. When they start to harvest, if I'm home to enjoy it, great. If I'm not, so what? I have the seeds anyway. I'm going to put them in the ground. Um, and what I've, what I've noticed is that 
a lot of times the less attention that you give nature, the better it does. <laughs> you should have seen what was growing out of my compost bin last year. All of a sudden, this plant started growing in my compost bin. And I was like, what the heck is that? And I just let it go. That thing was vining all, all around the yard, all down here. Big, huge squashes, this big. <laughs> I must have ate like 15 of them all summer. I was giving them away. Paid no attention to it. It just happened. And um, so I also want to share, as I just talked about the bunnies, the bunnies and the chipmunks. That's what we have here. Bunnies and chipmunks. They will give everything a haircut. Everything. And um, it was very discouraging. Last year it got very discouraging. It was like more than usual. So what I realized was that a two-foot fence, the bunnies can jump over it. The three-foot fence, they can't jump over it, but the chipmunks can climb it. So I decided I put up a three-foot fence. This is all new um, last year. Uh, my friend Anthony helped me do it. So we, we, I bought rolls and rolls of this. And I used to have each one of these beds was individually fenced. Then I just ripped all that down, and we just did one big fence on the perimeter connecting all the all the um, gardens so <clears throat> we put that up three foot we watched we watched the chipmunks climb up and over and one night I was in bed and I said I have an idea because Anthony was talking about putting in a um, electric fence and you know I know it doesn't kill them and I want to discourage them from coming in when I put all this all this effort into gardening I want the stuff. Like, I mean, if they came in and just did a little nibble here and there, that's one thing. But they, they wipe me out, you know. So I, I really didn't. We started looking into the electric fence things. Um, and uh, we were going back and forth with links and just, just trying to decide. And then one night I was laying in bed and an idea came to me. And this idea works. Okay. So what I did was I know what happens. They climb up, they climb up and they climb over. So I said, what can I put at the top so that they can't get over? And all I did was I had, this is, this is that same plastic that the um, greenhouses are covered with. And I had one that the zipper broke. So I was going to toss it out, but I ended up saving it. So I cut strips of it, and I stapled it along the top of the, of the entire fence. The entire fence is all lined with this little, like about six inches. So what happens is, is Mr. Chipmunk comes up here. He, 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 he slides off of this. He can't really grasp onto this because this is slippery. He comes up here, and he can't get in. <laughs> and we watch them. We watch them. And uh, my friend was like, ah, oh, you know, that's not going to work. And I was just like, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So I cut all these out, and then I stapled it. My son helped me staple it, and then watched I, I put I put all sunflower seeds in the gardens because they love sunflower seeds. Put them there. I saw them all coming around. They could smell them or whatever. They come running up, and they, they didn't know what to do up here. They can't get around. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this keeps them out. For me, this keeps them out. We don't have deer around here, so I don't have to be concerned about that. Um, so... Yeah, it's a great idea for anybody that's having trouble with critters with their gardens. And and then we made this door that just kind of goes like this. Like that. And then we just kind of go like that. There it is. There. And um, that's what I do. And I have one more garden over here. And this one over here is very good for greens because it gets a, it, it gets sun only in the afternoon. 
so it's not very much sun. But it's over here, so greens really, especially spinach, loves this, loves this over here. And here's another door right here, same system. Um, this one has little, this one has uh, little hooks here. This little hook and eye goes right into this little hole in there. So that's that's what we got for this one. That should probably be on the other one too. And then um, yeah, so then we just do. This is really good for spinach. And this, I just put these, I had these bricks and I just put them here for a little walking sp space to get to um, weeding and, and that. And yeah, it just, it, that's my garden. That's my garden. And I have this other little shed too. I got an Ocean State job lot. And that just houses a bunch of junk. All the lawn cushions and stuff. So I'll give you an update on the gardens once we once we get out there and work today. And uh, so that's what I got for my gardening video. Bye for now.